thing that I noticed this year was different about last year, and I think every year is going to keep evolving and it's going to keep getting different, here is that obviously the first couple years in your business is going to really take a lot of grind, but every year we're able to, you know, something that I heard from a coach lately was that when you get really good at working, you're going to be able to get more done in four hours than eight hours. And I think every year we just become better and better at managing our time. Working smarter. Yeah, yeah working smarter. A lot of people, and having more time for us. Yeah, a lot of people don't know how to manage their time. So yeah. Hi, you guys, and welcome back. If you guys are new here, this is the 1% Podcast. My name is Jasmine, and I am a content strategist. My name is Matthew Cohn. And this is the place where we talk a little bit about mindset, business, and overall, we kind of just discuss, you know, conversations that we go on through our business and in everyday life. Today, we really wanted to do a end of year wrap up for you guys. So I know today we want to talk about some challenges and some things that we won every single month or that we learned every single month. So it's going to be an interesting episode. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down for us below so we can keep growing our familia. How many subscribers are we at? Do you know? Uh, no idea. Okay, we should probably know that before we, like... Let me check. Oh, we're at 15, okay. So, yeah. we are... Because we started at, like, 10. Yeah. Uh, and we was at 10 in, like, November. Oh, we were? Yeah. So, we're at 15 subscribers. Help us, think, help us get to... We're going to make a goal. Help us get to 30 subscribers by the beginning of the year. I know we can do it. Subscribe. I keep fixing myself. Okay. Oh, no, y'all see we got our chairs now. We used to sit in and, um, one seat together. But we got our own separate chairs now. What? What you laughing at? It, w it just started playing, playing. What, the video. What, playing? what video was you watching? Oh, bro, get the fuck off of that. Look, bro. look, this is this is you. I know, you sent that to me on TikTok and I responded back oh. to it. Let's turn that shit off. We're trying to, we're trying to record. Did you start the timer? Yeah. Okay. We're recording. Okay, this is a little bit chaotic. Uh, okay, back on track, back on track. Okay. So, don't forget to listen to us on YouTube. You guys can watch Our Beautiful Face on YouTube, or if you just want to listen to us because you're driving or you're on the way to work, then you can listen to us on Spotify. But we're going to go ahead and get into the video. So, I know I kind of always over talk and talk over you. So, you go ahead and start. What was one thing that you learned in January? Matt, I need your help growing my social media audience. All right, guys, if you need help growing your social media audience, make sure you text 602-390-7002. Once again, it's 602-390-7002. Well, first, I thought we was going to break down our months because, again, like she said before, we're doing a one-year recap. And what the plan was is to go through each individual month um, to see what, what we got the positive and negatives from each month. Mm -hmm. Oof, man. What was the positive uh, for January? What's crazy is I don't even think I remember like January. I think January is when I was getting booked to fly back to Cincinnati. So, um, oh, yeah. positive. I don't really see, I don't remember any um, negatives from January. And then I know I was making money for the business. So that's definitely a positive. What about you? I know in January, I think it was the year for me where I remember I started my my brand, uh, Diosa. It, it's a clothing brand. And he actually pushed me to start it. So I think in January, that was the year, that was like the month for me where you helped me realize that sometimes you just have to try it all. Because I would be saying to him, like, I'm not ready for this or I'm not, I don't want to do it right now because I don't want to focus on it. But it helped me launch my first launch and it helped me realize what to do better. Yeah. So I do. Re if you guys go back to episode three, um, you'll see me wearing a black Diosa butterfly Mary Pulsa hoodie. And it will be back. We're going to do a launch, too. But I just yeah. want to make sure that when we do launch, it's, you know, it's correct. But yeah, I think January just taught me to try it all. Don't say no to anything. And then, you know, what about February? What was one thing that you learned in February? Same thing I would say. I don't remember any negatives happen. Um, and then positives, just making money for the business. Mm -hmm. I don't. I barely remember February. I know negative. approaching one of those months, something happened to the Jeep. 
mm. for sure. Or something around that to time, Jeep, yeah. something happened to the Jeep. Maybe I don't know. No, no, no. That was in March and April. That was that was well, later. We approach March. Yeah, that so was later. What about you for February? Well, for February, for me, I think for February, February to March, I remember it clearly. For me, I think it was the point where I started realizing my worth as a social media manager and entrepreneur because I don't think you guys realize sometimes that we're still new. I mean, I've only been in business for two years and you've only been in business for four. four. So we're still relatively new. And I think for me, with me being only in business in two years and not knowing anybody that does social media management, I have to learn everything because it's um, going back to what I learned in February, I had to learn everything because I didn't know that I was worth the amount of money that people were paying social media managers were for. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We'll be right back. All right, technical difficulties. But um, March, we um, flew back to Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. It was your birthday. I got one of my highest clients. In March. Yeah. yeah. Um, and again, it just taught me, you know, always ask for your worth. Uh, I'm trying to think, where is there any? Any negatives? I know for me, like around March, around that time, I mean, we could jump into April. We're at April now, but yeah, we could jump into yeah, April. But down. around March and April, I had my first dispute. And mentally, I think it stopped me. It stopped me in business for almost like two months mm. because that dispute kind of um, set you back. It, it kind of scared me because, you know, nobody had ever really done a dispute with my company before. And it made me realize that I had to do more foundation work for my business. You had a blind spot. That's crazy. I did. You had a blind spot. I had a blind spot. Damn. Well, I had a blind spot. March, April, May. Well, by May. Oh, May and then June. the car kind of broke down in April. We had to get it replaced. Yeah, I forgot what happened. And, uh, Something happened and we had to get it replaced. We was on our way to Sedona. Mm. What was it? We had to get the brakes replaced? Or? Well, we had got the, re re the brakes replaced after that, but before then, it was some type of... Some, it was some something bullshit. with the car. And it's funny because we said it today. I'm like, every time that we get an opportunity, let me like let us know down below if this happens to you guys. But every at least for me it does. Every time that every single time that something good happens or an opportunity comes up, the car breaks down every single time. No miss. Never misses. Mm -hmm. Never misses. It's like I was telling her today, it's like every time I save some money, I don't know, it's like the the car is sensing like, oh shit, I need some shit done. Pay, pay for the shit, mm -hmm. but that's just life, but... That's it, what you gotta store up assets. Yeah, for sure. Store up assets. For sure. But we had the money, because mm -hmm. I'm always prepared for situations anyway, so we got that fixed. That's another important thing, especially when you... Uh, and mind you, um, we still running our own business and stuff, so we still rely on ourselves to make income, so just being able to have the ability to take care of a thousand dollar issue and still have all bills paid is like beyond blessing like mm -hmm. it's really beyond beyond blessings for sure mm -hmm. and then i think uh going into may i think we're at may now yeah. uh, going into may i think that's when that was around the time i, I enrolled in my first coaching program Susie. that was my first ever high ticket coaching program with Susie, and i talk about her all the time because she really change the direction of my business i really learned a lot from her so shout out to her i will leave a link down below so you guys can go check out her program but she really just helped me a lot yeah. with uh learning the marketing yeah i went what hard this summer went really hard stay consistent with content stayed recording mm -hmm. um no negatives throughout the summer really it's just yeah. um a, a lot of positive stuff when that's when we had got the brakes replaced um, and we took a trip to Sedona uh, during the summer. Mm -hmm. um, that, that was fun. We did a lot of fun trips this summer. That yeah. is something I do appreciate. I think that one thing that I noticed this year was different about last year. And I think every year is going to keep evolving and it's going to keep getting different. But one thing I noticed that was different. Mm, stupid fly. The one thing I noticed that was different this year about last year is that obviously the first couple years in your business is going to really take a lot of grind. But every year we're able to, you know, something that I heard from a coach lately was that when you get really good at working, you're going to be able to get more done in four hours than eight hours. Yeah. And I think every year we just become better and better at 
managing our time. Working smarter. Yeah. yeah, working smarter. A lot of people, and having more time for us. Yeah, a lot of people don't know how to manage their time. So yeah. That's kind of a, well, yeah. So where are we at, like June, July? Yeah, June, July. And going back to that, um, I know I keep talking, but self-investing was a huge thing that I learned this year. Yeah, especially where, summer, summertime. Yeah, we knew how to invest in ourselves and our brands, but I think this year we took it to a different to a different level where you always have to be investing in your brand. And what I mean by that is putting the money back into your business because that's what's going to help it grow. Mm -hmm. You know, I, you do equipment all the time. Yeah, shit. Our chairs, yeah. the investment into our business. I didn't bought so much um, equipment. Like, when it, like, I didn't bought... Like alone, we, we now have our own separate memory cards for 1% and then mm -hmm. for the projects we do. Like just investing in the memory cards, investing into um, a faster, the fly was in the fucking view, you son of a bitch. <laughs> um, investing into the Mac Mini so now I can edit our shit faster, have more content put out. Like I invested into a CRM, like, but that's later in the year, but we're going to talk about that. I invested yeah. into a CRM yeah. for our business. Like. It's just that was that was um, that's always been sacrifices that I've been willing to make because I know with those investments into our business, we're only going to get better because we attack our goals so aggressively. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And going back to I was, no, was going to the fall. Oh, yeah. Going to yeah. The fall. But going to going to August, I think that I learned. Oh, August pissed me off. Yeah, uh, we're gonna talk about the negatives. For you August think August sure. pissed you off? August pissed me off. Why? Because yeah, it was like right before my birthday. It was of course Leo season. I, I don't fuck with Leo season, yeah. but um, August pissed me off because I was getting to the point where um, I was at, like a month outside of my birthday. And I was getting to a point where I was just like starting to say, "Fuck it, I think something needs to ch something needs to change." But I felt the energy. You had went back to Cincinnati when? In October. Yeah, she so she was approaching her trip, um, and she had been telling me about the trip for a while. So August, that's like two two. That's literally two months outside of her trip. And she kept telling me that she wanted me to come, but I knew something was about to change, and I felt something was about to change in the shift of everything that I, that I was working and building towards. But August pissed me off because um, I let, I made a YouTube video about being declined for a job. And then I also did um, some mediocre work for a company that didn't even hire me. Um, but that month pissed me off because I felt like a lot of people was telling me their words about stuff that they wanted to get done. But nobody, but nobody was, was actually doing the shit. And taking it action. Was, it was... Um, it was like, I was getting to the point where I was like, damn it, it's all this hard work that I'm putting in. Like, it's nobody catching on to the hard work that I'm putting drained. on. Not necessarily drained, but it's like, uh, I'm at this point, I was feeling like disappointed. Mm. Like, I'm like, damn, but I knew who I was and I just stayed consistent with the with the content. But I had August, I had did, did a bunch of unnecessary shit for other people or uh, unnecessary conversations for other people that was, wasn't going as hard as me in my business and wasn't willing to invest as hard into their business or their time and energy into their business as much as I was. Hey CEO, are you a service-based entrepreneur struggling to generate leads? I want to show you the exact framework I use to create content that converts your audience from following you to clients that are ready to pay you. I will teach you everything on how to grow your personal brand, how to create content that engages with your audience, how to create the copywriting that keeps your audience interested on your posts. All you have to do is text me GROW to 513-516-7332. Again, text me GROW to 513-516-7332. See you on the other side. Yeah. And I think I said in another video that I recorded for my own YouTube, but I said something, you know, one thing that we had to learn this year was I feel like we had to learn like our boundaries, but also setting those hard for sure. foundations. For sure. Like I think that's where it starts is a lot of businesses want to discount themselves or a lot of businesses want to do things fast or cheap. And that is one thing that I learned after my dispute in March was like in August, I was actually kind of glad that I didn't even take any clients for the summer because... I had to look at how I was servicing my customers. And if you're not happy with the way that you're leading yourself, you're, you know, taking care of your body, it all goes back to that mind, body, spirit, then how can you deliver the best service to your clients? So that was something that I had to learn is it starts with your own boundaries. How you treat yourself is how you're going to treat other people and how you treat other people is what you're going to get out of your clients. So yeah. that's something that I had to learn. Yeah, this was also, 2023 was also the year I've always been a heavy, heavy, 
um, research and take notes guy. Like, I'm talking, like, back in elementary, I was doing that. Like, other kids looking at me like I was weird, but I've always been heavy research and writing, and this was the year where I took a lot of notes. I did a lot of research. I did mm -hmm. a lot of... But you've been doing it because yeah, even but when this year I took even it to the next level moved, though. Yeah, even when before we moved to Arizona, I mean the summer before we moved, you guys, he was the whole summer at his desk, and yeah. that's all he was doing. He was just With researching and researching yep. and researching, and I the don't think we I don't right think we talk about that enough sometimes. Is like as content creators, like especially as you, maybe we can do that in another video. Is you have to be so persistent and you have to be patient because like you said you could have given up and you didn't yeah. and that's what a lot of creators don't talk about mm -hmm. it's not easy and it takes time mm -hmm. and it was just a simple fact that i knew um i believed in myself because i knew the work that i was doing was going to um, lead me to the point where um, it was important for that journey like being able to live in the moment of that journey and not only that, just we on the West Coast and we in Arizona, so the just the capacity to do stuff mm -hmm. out on the West Coast is just completely different. So what we leading up. What is, what about you for August? Well, we only got a couple more minutes here, so we got to wrap it up. But I would say, like, going fast forward a little bit to October, like after we after I came back from well, Cincinnati. Well, no, let's not skip September because September skip. was San Diego. Yeah, that's San what I'm saying. Uh, August and September kind of went together for yeah, me. Yeah, not for me. So I'll no. talk about September. Yeah, you can talk about First September. First of all, September was my birthday. Mm -hmm. um, September, we had been planning a trip. There was multiple things I wanted to do for September. Um, September it was a month so of rest. It was, no, absolutely not. Not for me. I wouldn't say that. The, um, the, the day trip was like a day of rest for me. Yeah, but that it month was like wasn't. It was like reset. September was the, the month that everything kind of like, the puzzle pieces started finally falling together for me. Like... Um, September was the month I got my passport. September was the month of my birthday. I went to my first San Diego trip. I got to see my, my friend from L.A. September was so enriched and so empowered. That's when October and November and December just took off because of everything just clicking together. Mm -hmm. And I think, well, September, like I said, for me, if September was me still kind of resetting from the summer and my dispute and what had happened. So for me, it was kind of like August and September. I was still learning and, and, you know, just focusing on that. And then October, I went to go visit my family. And when I came back from that trip going into November and going into November, there was like a huge shift. But I had told him before I went on the trip, like, you know, something's going to change. And he even felt it. And after I came back from the trip from visiting my family, I think that put into a huge perspective of how much, you know, we can make a whole episode th on, on this next time. But we talk so much about us with, you know, why would we want to go back to somewhere that we were trying to leave? And I think I felt it like this time I really, really felt it where I was around my family. And don't get me wrong, like I love the, the trip with my family, but... I found myself falling back into like a lot of old habits that I didn't like and it was kind of like you know I didn't like that version of myself and I, I even told you I was like you know I think that was a huge realization for me where it's like you know I don't need to be um, how do I say it like I don't need to be in old environments that don't sue me anymore mm -hmm. does that make sense mm -hmm. and so it, it was like an eye-opener for me where I kind of had to realize like you know I have outgrown some things and that's okay how much yeah. time ago three minutes so we just got november december um we'll skip november december again that's what led up to this well don't point. skip it no we're not going to skip it november december has been a real like two really good months because we can't i mean you can say a lot well, i didn't skip it. i just said everything that i did in september and August it was important it was up, important it led up to everything it was important. that's happening now it was important because he you haven't really talked about it but he got a huge work opportunity and i think it's amazing because i think that that was for me i saw it firsthand where it was confirmation like you have worked your ass off for this and you deserve it yeah and he got a huge opportunity to work for a major brand but even now i respect the fact that he still says like it's just a tool it's just a tool to get to the next place and but it just goes to show, like, you worked your ass off for it, and you deserve that. Yeah. What did you put, what'd you put that on with the timer-wise? Uh, 25. Oh, it was on 25. So we still got a couple minutes, right, yeah. so we still got five minutes, yeah. yeah. Um, no, I didn't want to necessarily skip it. I just knew, like I said before, like, the work that 
that I put into in August and September was that um, leading led up, me to, up that? to the October and November and December events. Um, again, like she stated, I got an opportunity to work for a big company. It was craziest. I, I manifested that everything that came with that job. Um, more importantly, it was um, a connection of just somebody knowing my worth and all of the hard work that I've been putting in. And not only that, it's um, this, and it's stuff that I talk about in my free video marketing tips is having that right content creator for your business or your company because once you get somebody that actually understands and care about your business and has the same passion as you about your business, that's when you're able to connect and make Click. content easier. Yeah. Um, they, I had previous, I had conversations with them about the previous position or previous people that was in the position that I'm in now for the business and it just goes to show you the separation of um, how hard you work and how hard you're willing to work between people and other people. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I can only say that he has opened doors not only for himself, but he has opened so many doors for myself. And I tell him all the time, like, I don't know where I would be without him because he has really, really pushed me to do better. And I think one thing that, again, hopefully we can speak about it more in the future, but one thing that we've learned through this brand and this company that we worked with is that at the end of the day, it's only a competition with yourself. Like, you're going to see who is actually about it and who is actually disciplined enough and the easiest way you can tell is by holding yourself to a discipline. And I think for me, one thing that I just appreciate out of this season, out of you working your ass off, is that you worked your ass off to build us connections. So now we have connections and I've just been learning so much. Like every single day I learn something new and it's just amazing to be part of an environment where people work harder than you. Because we've been around environments where people don't work hard as us or people are lazy or people just make excuses. And to just be around that for a change is just very inspirational to me. So. Matt, I need your help growing my social media audience. All right, guys, if you need help growing your social media audience, make sure you text 602-390-7002. Once again, it's 602-390-7002. New levels, but new levels, um, new levels also come with new devils as well, so. Yeah, we talk about that all the time. It's, you know, more money, more problems. Always. But let's end it off with. I got an idea. Um, oh, go ahead. Top three goals for 2024. Mm, I don't want to make yearly goals anymore. Okay. I don't want to make yearly goals anymore because I realize that when you make yearly goals, you push things off all the way till the end. So I want to make quarterly goals. Okay. My quarterly goals. Well, what's your top three for quarter one? For quarter one are, I'm saying it out loud so I can manifest, but I want to sign on my first. You will sign on. I will sign on my first 10K client in quarter one. I will outsource my company to have two employees and I will pay down debt. Because that's really a priority for us. We can get our house. Yeah, for what sure. What about you? Um, top three goals for 2024 is make 100 plus K. That's already going to happen because I calculated it right now. I'm at 70, 55 plus 20. I mean, I can easily say I'm a good 80K right He's now. He's going to surpass it easily. I'm a, I can easily say I'm at 80K right now. But I'm going to make 100K plus for 2024. Uh, I'm going to combine two goals because my third one is my biggest goal. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm actually going to combine three things as my number two, which is, uh, damn, I'm actually going to combine four things with this goal number two. So one, again, was make 100, 100K plus. Uh, number two is to pay down debt, increase credit score, and get our housing, the new Tesla at the same time. So that's number two. And then number three is bringing the kids over here when we get our house. So those mm -hmm. are my top three goals for 2024. Yeah, we can, we just can't wait to have our family here. Yeah. Like we can, that's that's yeah. my, that's priority. That's, like, that's a top, top goal for both of us. Yeah. Her parents, her brothers, yeah. her sisters. Um, I can't wait till we come cousins. back on this podcast and tell you guys yeah. we just bought our house. Yeah. We just bought our house. We're going to speak make it a, into we, existence. The whole, the whole buying process. Okay, let's say it together. We just bought our house. We just bought our house. We just bought our house. We, just bought our house. we are manifesting it right now. We, we just bought a three-bedroom house. 
Three might bedroom? be four bedroom. Four bedroom. It might mm. be four bedroom with a with a basement and a, mm. a, a pool. You just never know. You like, never know because all you can have all these manifestations, but the universe is gonna laugh at you. Like it was mm. so much stuff that I wanted that I really really wanted, but What's when that I saying? got it, like you make plans and God laughs. God laughs. Yeah, but when I got it, when I got what I manifested, it wasn't. It was what I wanted, but it wasn't what I wanted, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know how to really And we'll end it off there because you guys will know what we're talking about in the next episode. Well, you guys, this is Jasmine. I am a content strategist and... And Matthew Cohn from Cohn with And this is 1% Podcast. And this is a place where you guys can learn. And we'll see you guys in the next podcast. Bye, you guys. Like, I forgot the uh, slogan. <laughs> that was it. All right. Get out of here. I got to film. Okay, bye. That was really good. We're gonna.